Stop 26 on the Internet Sorry, Mally All Racing Series. This brings us to Charlotte Motor Speedway in Charlotte, North Carolina. We're here for running in the All Pro Parts 300 as we're set for 40 laps of racing here on this one on this mile and a half race track. Track and what races we we should have today as well. All that said, here let's get the starting, starting lineup race running in a bit. On the pole is Johnny Gardner in car 44 to Slim Jim Chevrolet. He's on the front row for this event here on the pole, I should say. He'll be alongside Mitchell Collins in car 48. The um, New Staff America Oldsmobile sits, sits alongside. Neither drivers won a race yet this season, and both hope to today's hope uh, both hoping tonight's tonight that he'll that they'll do so. Going the road two, we'll have Johnny. We'll have Quentin Moore, who won a season at at Myrtle Beach. He'll be alongside Dylan Young in number two, the Dupont Chevrolet. Second, third row, we'll have Car Eight, Sebastian Kugel on the TIC Financial Oldsmobile. Alongside him, another Oldsmobile. It is Ryan Brommer in the Alliance Truck Parts Machine Car Fifty Nine. Going to row four, we'll have Kev Sheeran Thirty Eight. He'll be alongside Car Number Fifty Two, Kyle Matthews sits, sits alongside. Matthews won has won three times this season at Michigan. Won, this season he won Michigan, won Watkins Lane. This is going for the Charlotte Sweep as well, too. Going to the next row down has car 45. It is Joshua Michaels and car number 31, Carson Gum. Next row down has Joshua Michaels and or has Emmanuel Hartnett, excuse me, in car number 5. He'll be alongside number 11, Jessica Shelton, the three time winner so far this season. She won Darlington, she won Daytona, and she also won the last race at South Boston. Next round has the one has the has Chloe Owen who put on a, who put on a tremendous performance in South Boston. She finished third in that event. She'll be alongside Levi McIntyre in car number six, the Roses the Roses Discount Source Buick. <clears throat> Next round has car number that's car number ninety nine Jesse Turner and number twenty eight Texaco Havlin Ford of Cat Batson. Then it's Phil Parker in twenty five. He has one of our in car cameras in today's event. He'll be alongside seventeen Rob Evans. Next round has Ryan George in 36 and number 20, Jeremiah Dwayne. Next round has Jacob Thibodeau in number zero and Joshua Osborne in 63. He has our second in car camera. Third row has Austin Colano in car number nine. He'll be alongside car 40, Julius Anderson. Next round after that will be Jackson Haywood in, in zero one and number 75, Jacob Sturgeon. Next round has number 32, Seth Cole in car number 60, Nathan Hudson. Then it's number 87, James Henry in the, in the Texas Peace Officer Chevy. And number 08, Char and number. And beside him will be car number 08, Charles Sanfer. Next round has Justin Dearborn in the 15 AC Delco Chevrolet. And our third in car camera rides with Cole Deaver in the, in the GM Goodwin Chevrolet car number 3. <coughs> Deaver, a four timer so far this season. And it's also the points leader coming into this event by 160, by 160 points over Charles Sanfer. Next round is Arthur Xavier in card 03 and number 46, Paul Minnick, who won and finished second the last race in the tour at South Boston. Next round has number number four, William Brock. He won at Pikes Peak this season. And 72, John Andrews. Next round down after that will be Dustin Bowen in card number seven. And number 27, that is Carter Freeze in the Gwaltney Big H Chevrolet. Next round down has card number one, Keith Batson, the, the Baby Roo Ford. He won a season at New Hampshire, he also, and he is alongside Gene Sanford, the 34, Hungry Jack Pillsbury Buick. And starting to shock in the field will be car number 92, Nathan Orman, in the Stanley, in the Stanley Tools Chevrolet. So this is a mile and a half racetrack here at South Boston. Uh, where are we, Qualls? Uh, here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Here we are at South Boston. Last race in the tour, which is a four-tenths of a mile short track. Today we are at a mile and a half racetrack here with speeds. Well, these cars in the draft were clocked were clocked at over 170 miles per hour. Lap speeds are almost 170. They're yeah, about 167, 168, somewhere in that range. On this version of Charlotte, at least here, here is this the 1994 Charlotte version we're on here today. <coughs> we just got three races left to go. After this, we'll stay in North Carolina. The next race on the tour, which when we, we go to Rockingham. After that will be Phoenix, and then after that will be Atlanta Motor Speedway for the finale, for, for the season finale. So that's what else coming up after Charlotte, after race at Charlotte, and here comes the command of fire the engines for the All Pro Auto Parts 300.
41 V6 engines come to life here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. We had a great race the last time we was here at Charlotte for the CarQuest 300 and here and, and today we hope for, we open up for another good one here today. And I'll be perfectly honest with you and saying this too that um, that the um, race at South Boston had have has has had about as, has some of the best short track racing we have had in We have had um, ever in this series. I mean, we have passed for everywhere, everywhere, everywhere except for the lead, pretty much, in that race there. As Jessica Shelton won, for, uh, started, started from the pole and, and took off with, and took off the victory in that race. What's going to happen here today at Charlotte? Well, we'll find out as the, as as forty laps will be will ensue here today. This is the same distance we usually have for the Melly Yellow Five Hundred in the Castrol GTX Cup Series. <clears throat> as well, so here comes here comes the field. Come out to number four, a uh, Chevrolet versus Oldsmobile on the front row. Green flag out. We're underway in the All Pro Auto Parts 300. <laughs> Off turn number two, they come. Johnny Gardner pulls out to the lead here. Quentin Moore looks slow on the track here. Car number 21 to Cheerwine Ford. He won at Myrtle Beach this season. One of the two tracks we have on the tour on the tour on the Melly Yellow Tour in the state of South Carolina. They'll go through one and two. Sebastian Kukalon jumps out in front here in car number eight. Cap Shear's second position. Here comes 45, 45 car of Joshua Michaels. Up uh, the third position, Emmanuel Hartnett running fourth, and Chloe Yellen right now runs in fifth position as they come off turn number four, completing the second lap of this race. First lap tied at 152 miles per hour. Second lap tied at 164.9 miles per hour. So these cars in CTS physics at least run very slow on this version of Charlotte though, but the GNS and Cup physics well they run very very fast especially in cup physics on the track they, they they can top speeds at almost 190 miles an hour and we mentioned these cars in the draft can clock almost 100 set can clock, a, a, can clock just about right on 170 miles per hour <clears throat> And you're, still, and you're looking right there in the case of Phil Parker, his car clock at 165 in the draft. Go on the end, on the end, at the end of the front stretch, let's see how fast he goes on the back stretch here. 163 miles an hour, 160, well, 163. Just that speed going, in, going on the front stretch here. So you can, so these cars are about running wide open here at Charlotte here, at least at NCTS Physics though. So, but the problem is their cars are so slow. It's like it's like they it's like they have a restrictor it's like, it's like it's like they have a restrictor plate on this on these machines, and this is like a cross between Charlotte Racing and also uh, a cross between Charlotte and Talladega basically when on a track like this on this version of the track at least. <coughs> but it has produced some outstanding competitive racing. That is the that is the flip side plus no, plus hardly any caution flags. Jacob Thibodeau looks to the low side, car zero, as he as he tries to go underneath the 36 car of, of Ryan George. Thibodeau goes to second position. Here comes the number nine car of Austin Glenn, that teal and pink Chevrolet. Third turns three and four, they come here. Oldsmobile out in front, Chevy second, Ford trying for third position inside of Phil Parker's Oldsmobile. On board with Bill Parker in car 25. Running right behind Jacob Thibodeau's uh, Skull Classic Mission Markets Oldsmobile.
down to the low side of the racetrack here. The track, the uh, pack begins to thunder now on the inside. Jacob Thibodeau leads that inside pack in the 15. Party AC Delco Chevy now Jackson Haywood in 0 1 throws the block. Thibodeau in second position. Here comes Arthur Xavier in the 0 3. Moving up to third position now. William Brock in the four car up to fourth. Or trying for fourth, I should say. Dustin Bowling in the seven cars up there. 27 Carter Friesen and number one car Keith Batson. Off turn number two, they come here. And here comes. Xavier to the low side as he tries to make the move to the, the inside for the lead. And he will do so. So Arthur Xavier of the Zero Three Machine goes to the top spot. This track has produced also, has also kind of produced some first time winners as uh, some surprise winners as well too, at least on the Castrol GTX Cup Series side it has. <coughs> See a speed shot of, of, of these cars going through turns one and two. side. Charles Saber had the lead the last time by. Now Paul Minnick goes to the low side. Car 46 and that was close the last time by. It was 4,600 of, of a second the last time by. Minnick goes to the top. Here comes here comes Nathan Orman in 92 for second place. Actually make that Joshua Osborne 63 inside for second place. Now in this campaign, that's Team Pontiac. Now Cole Deaver decides I want to go for the top spot here as he as he moves and he moved to the inside. Osborne saw that and he goes inside now for the top spot as, for the top spot himself. And Joshua now goes to the lead. Now he may already dropped the third in the points. The last race of the tour at South Boston. Hopes to make his way back up there up there in the points there and try to get those five points for leading a lap. Deaver hoped to do the same thing as well as well himself though, but now he gets moved up to the track by Gene Sanford in 34. And now she goes to second place now, and here comes Jeremiah the way in the 20 card to the low side. <clears throat> Joshua Michaels up there in 45, here comes 72, John Andrews, 60 car of Nathan Hudson up there, 40 car of Julius Anderson, the Purex style Ford. As they come up to number four, Jeremiah Dwayne. Now, I think I think this is gonna be the first time he's led this season. I think in that 20 machine, as he as he moves to the low side now, he'll lead that lap. So the so the first eight sports drinks Oldsmobile goes to the top spot. That's, that's the that's the Jimmy that's the Jimmy Spencer car for 1992. He's driving. <clears throat> Talking about Jeremiah Dwayne in the 20 machine, and here comes but here comes John Andrews in the 72 to the low side. He'll take the he'll take the lead now, and Nathan Hudson goes by. Or actually hooks up behind him, I should say, in the 60 machine. Julia Sanderson up there in the 40 car, 28 car, Cat Batson, the Texaco Havlin Ford, the Davy Allison colors. Jacob Sturgeon, 75 is up there, 17, Rob Evans, and, the, and here comes that number 11, Jessica Shelton. Shelton dominated at South Boston and won the event. And that moved her up from sixth place in the points to fourth in the points coming out of South Boston. May not have a shot at the championship though, but she can sure stir things up. And if you know Jess, she usually does. But meantime, Jacob Sturgeon is the one going into the top spot now as he as he gets the help from Rob Evans. 
Shelton was up there, then McIntyre in the sixth car, and the 52 of Kyle Matthews. Matthews had a the Zach Matthews had a had a pretty good outing at uh, South Boston, and so did McIntyre as well. Shelton looks low in the track there, and she says, out of the way, Jacob and I want to go for the top spot, and she does. Carter Road London takes the lead now. That's Shelton, but McIntyre may have other thoughts of trying to try to may have other thoughts of Shelton leading a lap. McIntyre puts up behind off to number four. They come. Almost completing halfway home here. This will be the 18th lap in the books completed. So 18 in the books and 22 laps remaining here at Shelton. Charlotte. McIntyre got moved up to the high side by Kyle Matthews, who moves Shelton up to the high side, and here comes Kyle Matthews for the lead in car 52. Matthews going for the Charlotte Sweep, the pride from Dayton, Ohio, up to the top spot. Carson Gummer there in 52, Ryan Brommer in the 40 in the 59 car, Johnny Garner the pole sitter in the 44. Matthews leads his lap as they go into turn number one now. And you got some new players up there. Ryan Brommer, Johnny Gardner, who's the pole sitter in the event. He led the first lap, I believe, in that race. Mitchell Collins is up there, 99 car, Jesse, Jesse Turner in 38, Kev Shearer. Kev won the season at the um, at Indianapolis at the short track at Indianapolis at their Lucas Oil Raceway. That track that's adjacent to the drag show that holds the NHRA U.S. Nationals over there in Indianapolis. <coughs> Not the famed uh, Brickyard itself, where the Brickyard 400 and of course the famed Indianapolis 500 is being held. It's being held as well. Gardner has lead, but here comes the 48 Mitchell Collins to the low side. He'll, he'll try to lead his first lap of the race. Collins in the Staff America Oldsmobile up to the top spot, and he'll lead his first lap of the race here. 21 in the books and 19 laps remaining. Kev's up to second position, now going for the lead. J James Henry in the 87 cars up there now. Dylan Young in the 2, 21 of Quentin Moore, and the 0 of Jacob Thibodeau. Ford in his, in leading the inside pack, then two Chevys, another Ford in an Oldsmobile. And then you got the, then you got Emmanuel Hart in that yellow Buick up there, the number 5 car. There is Hart in that number 5 innkeeper machine. Clock ninth position the last time by talking about Emmanuel Hartnett as he's running between Jacob Thibodeau and the zero and the 55 of Chloe Owen. And right there behind her is Phil Parker with one of our in-car cameras in this event. On board with Phil Parker. <coughs> as he runs right now, as he's clocked in 10th position the last time by. He's now trying to push the inside lane. Now being led by Dylan Young in the, in the number two machine, I should say, excuse me. Bill trying to get around Chloe Owen as they go into turn number three. And, and now 21 car of, of Quentin Morseman shut up shut the track. Oh yeah. This is a good racing we're having here today. Or tonight, I should say, here at Charlotte. And the low side, Emmanuel Hartnett goes to the lead in number five. He has the lead, but here comes here comes 55, Chloe Owen to the low side. She looks low on the track. Chloe scored her career best finish when she finished third at South Boston Speedway, the last race on the tour. She has, she's she got two top fives. Her, her other one was a fifth. That coming in the first race at Talladega, and Chloe leads her first lap of the race. But Phil Parker has the lead as they go to turn number one. Now in the 25 car, 46 car of Paul Minnick, who was second at South Boston, the last race on the tour, in the Polaroid Chevy. And Charles Sanford up there in the 08 machine as he tries to 
gain some points on Call Deaver now. Let's see, Deaver the last time by was clocked in the 35th position, so still plenty of racing left to go. That only as this time by completes 26 laps, we now have 14 to go in this race. But if things were to finish like that, that would Stamper being up in the top five and Deaver finishing down almost near the bottom. That's gonna that's gonna really shake up the points coming in the Rockingham, which is next to the top for the AC Delco 200. Riding with Bill Park, let's take a few, let's take a lap around with him. You have actually a pretty good um, feel of what it's like to run around Charlotte Motor Speedway in the uh, in, inside of, inside of a pack of cars here. We saw Keith Bassett lead the last time by. This time by Arthur Xavier leads as we now have less than 10 laps to go, nine to go now to be exact. We completed the 31st lap of this race. Arthur Xavier led the last time by. Here comes Joshua Michaels to the low side. Has the actually took the lead, I should say, already. Nathan Hudson behind him, another black card, at number 60, Winn-Dixie Ford. There comes a, compare, comes a pair of red cards, Gene Sanford in the 34 Buick and the 72 Oldsmobile of, of um, John Andrews. And, and Gene looks to the left side, squeezes in front of John Andrews' car. So now you got two red cars to the low side now, along with a black and orange 20 of... Um, uh, Jeremiah DeWayne, Cole Deaver up there in third position now, and in, in, uh, I should say in fourth position, the Goodrich Chevy. On board with Cole Deaver as he looks to the lead now, and here comes, looks to the low side of the 20 car of Jeremiah DeWayne, and, and Cole decides to shove Jeremiah up the track, Gene Sammer led that lap in the 34 car. And now Deaver looks low on Samper, takes the position away, takes the lead, I should say. Nathan Ormond up there, 92. Julia Sanderson in 40, 52. Kyle Memphis in the 11 of Jessica Shelton on an inside train. And Cole Deaver leads his first lap of the race here, and that kind of offsets the... The five points I believe that Osborne may have gotten earlier. Actually, I don't remember now who else led today. But anyway, um, Julia Sanson goes to the lead, but here comes Kyle Mitchell in the 52, and Jessica Shelton pushes him up to the lead. 
Sturgeon in 75 car up, the, up that low side of the track as he takes position away from Deaver. Now let's go inside of the 40 car. Here comes number 11, Shelton, for the lead on Matthews as he leads his lap. Five to go. Lead by McIntyre to the low side. Here comes Rob Evans in 17, 44. Johnny Gardner up in his mix now. Here comes McIntyre to the low side of Shelton for the top spot here. Jess will lead that lap. Four laps to go. Lee by McIntyre to the top spot. Here comes 17, Rob Evans. 44, Johnny Gardner. 63, Joshua Osborne is up there. Down the inside, Evans looked low on the track, but Gardner had the, but Gardner went lower than Evans did. And Gardner does the second position now. Here comes McIntyre for the lead. Now it's in the six cars. Actually, actually still in the lead, I should say. <clears throat> Three laps to go. 63 card. Quint uh, of Osborne takes the lead now. Here comes, here comes 28 card. Cat Batson. Cat won earlier this season at the first race at Talladega. Carson Gunn up there. Ryan George and the, and the 21 and Quentin Moore. Who's going to win this race here? Now down the two laps to go here at Charlotte. Carson Gunn, car 31 up to the top spot now. Check the last, check the lap speeds here. Charles Silver has the fastest lap of the race so far at, top, at 168.2 miles per hour. Told you they clock him at almost 170 in the draft. If they go down to turn number, off turn number four, they come. Carson Gums uses the white flag, but here comes Quentin Moore closing up. Here comes Hartnett coming to the inside of, of Quentin Moore's car. Quentin tries to throw the block, but Hartnett's too far into trying to make a pass here. The white flag is out, by the way. Less than a mile and a half remaining. Does Hartnett have anything for Carson Gum? Off turn number two, I have a feeling that he might, but here comes James Henry in the 87 car to the low side. James Henry going for the second position now. What's he going to do on the 31 car as they come up to number four now? Henry closing up as they come up the fourth corner, but it's not going to be enough. James Henry comes to the inside, but short at the line. Carson Gum wins the all of Arts 300 here at Charlotte. Boy, what a finish to the race that was, and the 31 Channel Lock Oldsmobile, Carson Gunn, takes the victory here today. <clears throat> as he takes the Steve Grissom colors the victory lane here today, for, as he wins it here. James Henry comes home second, third position will go to Ryan Brommer, Emmanuel Hartnett comes home fourth, and Phil Parker comes home in fifth. Sixth place will go to Quentin Moore, seventh will go to Kev Shear, eighth to Jeremiah Dwayne, ninth to Ryan George, and tenth to Cat Batson. Eighty-three thousandth of a second was the margin of victory in this in this race here today. Give you the rest of the finish corner here. Mitchell Collins comes home in eleventh. Twelfth will go to Joshua Osborne. Thirteenth position will go to Dylan Young. Levi McIntyre, William Brock, Jesse Turner, Jer Johnny Garner, Justin Dearborn, Rob Evans, and Jackson Haywood <coughs> was the top twenty. Twenty-first, Jessica Shelton, Chloe Owen, twenty-second, twenty-third, Jacob Sturgeon, twenty-four, Jacob Thibodeau, Kyle Matthews, twenty-fifth. Charles Amber 26, Julius Anderson 27th, and Cole Deaver 28th in this race here today. And that's a couple of bad runs he's now had in the row. Lucky for him, though, Sanfer had, did not finish too far ahead of him in this race. But the bad news, but the, but the even more, but the, but the bad news, though, for Deaver, Joshua Osborne must finish, finish way up there in 12th. So Joshua should take second place away from uh, Sanfer now, points wise. Uh, Seth Cole, 29th. Justin Bowen, 30th. 31st will go to Nathan Orman, Sebastian Kukulon, Gene Sanford, Joshua, uh, John Andrews, Joshua Michaels, Paul Minnick, Keith Batson, Nathan Hudson, Arthur Xavier, Carter Friesen, and Austin Colano was the last of the finishers into this, in this event here today. So that will do it in Charlotte Motor Speedway. 
as I'll do it here today. Short motor speedway. Carson Gum gets the gets the win in the All Pro Auto Part All Pro Auto Parts 300. His first victory of the season and first in the Indianapolis Three Million Yellow Series as well. If you like what you see here, be sure to subscribe to the Indianapolis Sports and Gaming Channel. We got inter we got everything on this channel. We got inter races. We got inter races. We got gaming videos. We got whatever the present of the Indianapolis Series so goes on for his channel. And be sure to check out our our cavalcade of series in this in the NSCRA, including the Pedigree Xfinity Series, the Duracell Cup Series, and the Boas the Boas are all pro series, and on that and on Thrash Mini 899 channel, the NSCRA Marvel Studios Cup Series, and he'll get you going. Be sure to subscribe to Thrash Mini 899 channel for that series, and he'll get you going on that. <coughs> so that will do it from Charlotte Murphy. We'll head to Rockingham next on tour for the AC Delco 200. For now, this is James Paulson, the production of the NSCRA, offline racing at its best.